Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about tomorrow's um, October 15th um, Group C stage um, slate tomorrow. Um, we just finished Group B a few hours ago um, with JDG finishing first over Damwon Kia, both teams advancing to the next knockout stage. Um, Damwon Kia actually show, had a really good showing today. And I think they really would have finished first today if they banned Aatrox. I think in that tiebreaker game um, between JDG and Damwon Kia, the last game of the day today, um, I think JDG won only because 369 was playing Aatrox and that champion is broken if you know how to play him very well as 369 has shown today. Um, Damwon Kia actually had a had an early lead over JDG. I mean, Damwon should have had it. They lost one team fight um, near Dragon. Uh, 369 was dribbling really well, um, you know, attracting aggro and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's a little frustrating to see Damwon Kia, but I'm sure they learned a lesson, and that's a good lesson to take, um, you know, um, onto the knockout stage. So we have an LCK team. We have two LCK teams and two LPL teams advancing to the knockout stage so far. Kind of like we expected. Um, you know, that also means evil geniuses, EG and G2 are out. Um, as you can see, uh, EG and G2 both finished at one and five. Very, very depressing and very frustrating for those uh, LCS and LEC fans, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, we saw the gap in competition uh, amongst those teams. And regionally, it's, you know, it's obvious now that there are gaps. But we're going to talk about Group C now. And there is some hope here uh, with Rogue from LEC. Um, in a prime position to advance to the knockout stage, they're um, three and zero. They had a very, very perfect, very good. I was gonna say very good, but perfect week last week, beating DRX, Top Esports, and Gam Gam Esports, all of them, um, respectively. So, who I think, who do I think will advance out of Group C? So this is a very tough one, only because Rogue has shown up and they've performed very well. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a tie. There's, there's going to be a tiebreaker game, I think. I'm just going to put it out there. I think these guys are all going to knock each other out. I do think Game Esports will win a game tomorrow. So whether you, you know, bet on whichever game that, you know, I think Game Esports has the, you know, cap capability um, to beat any of these teams, really, like Rogue, DRX, and Top Esports. I love their jungler, Game Esports, and really, like, early game lead, they can really snowball. I mean, you saw today, like, G2 could have beat Damon Kia or JDG. I mean, they really had a good showing. Um, or in the early game, it's just they just did not have a good mid, mid to late game. So I think a similar thing will happen, but um, Rogue and Top Esports are not as good um, in macro game compared to like JDG and Dalvin Kia, in my opinion. Um, so so I think Gam Esports is, is the key factor in kind of determining who is going to come on top or finish second. You know, I think... Um, Top Esports had a poor, really poor showing in the last, you know, last week, but I think they'll bounce back. Um, I think they were just making some stupid mistakes. I think they were um, kind of being too confident um, in their skill sets, um, not respecting Rogue and DRX's skill levels. Um, I think DRX had a very good showing against Top Esports, especially Zeka and Piosik. Um, but I think I do think Tian and Knight are just as good, if not better, than those guys um, at DRX. So I think Top Esports will beat DRX this time around. Um, 
And then I think, I mean, Rogue and Top Esports, that's going to be a very interesting one. But I'm going to have to give an edge to Top Esports. I'm, I'm banking on the fact that Top Esports will bounce back here. Um, I know Ma Rang has been playing really well for Rogue, but I've seen picks and bans against Rogue where <clears throat> the, the other teams did not really focus on the champion pool of Ma Rang. I think that's going to happen here today, and I think they're going to focus out all the champions that uh, Ma Rang like, likes to play, like Jarvan. Um, so I think that's going to be a key factor in picks and bans and kind of focus and narrow, narrow down the champion pool against Ma Rang. So I think top esports will beat drx but i think drx will beat rogue <clears throat> and then rogue should beat game esports so i think it's gonna be like a kind of like a four and two ish um i think top esports win all three games to be honest with you so i think we're gonna have some tiebreakers like i said at three and three or four and two um, we'll see, but I mean, there might be a three-way tie. Who knows? But um, it could happen. Um, but I'm gonna have. I still gonna have to give an edge to Top Esports and DRX um, to come out of this group stage. I really think Rogue will drop two games. Um, would that be enough? I don't know. Because. Technically, top esports could win all three games. DRX could win two games and then lose one game and still be four and two. So I, I think it's going to be very interesting. Um, like I said, I, I'm still I'm still thinking probably DRX first and then top esports second, um, just based on the form. Um, I think that's probably how I'm going to go. Um, I think Rogue has been really good um, through Malrang, and then Larson has been pretty good. But, I mean, the comp, comp and, I mean, like, the bottom lane, comp has been good, but I just feel like it was at, it's it, it's been at the expense of DRX's bottom lane, who's been very idle. Like, Deft doesn't really do much. And Barrel, I mean, Barrel's good, but, like, he... The bottom lane is kind of boring, right? Like, let's just put it that way. I think with Ma Rang's like early game advantage, like in team fights, like I think that really it has been the reason why Rogue has won all three games. And then top esports like Jackie Love um, and Mark have been very cocky in playing the bottom lane. I think that has given Rogue um, a lot of advantage in the bottom lane. I don't think it's really like comp skill sets. I mean, I think they were he's fine in team fights, um, but like nothing superior than compared to like other bot laners. Um, so I'm going to have to, like I said, DRX top esports. That's probably who I'm going to go. Um, unfortunately, I think that means Rogue will be out. Um, I think Rogue will make it to the tiebreakers, just given how well they play, that, given the record they have, 3-0. and But like I said, I think they're going to go 4-2 and at the end of the day um, and the, before the tiebreaker, and then I think they're going to lose. So I know LEC fans don't like to hear that, but that's where I'm at, and that's what I'm going to stick by. I think there's still going to be a big gap, and also, like, this week off has given Top Esports a lot of materials to study and kind of adjust and make, you know, um, adjustments and everything. I think that's going to help them a lot. And I think when Jackie Love, like, plays really well and stays focused, and we've seen that in the LPL, um, that makes a tremendous difference between – one week to the to the other so um yeah so anyway that's all i got for you guys today if you guys have any questions um fortunately we got both group b and group a kind of right like we kind of guessed fanatic 55 80 45 and the group b we got it right um so i i like where we are so hopefully we continue that hot streak on the prediction side but otherwise yeah if you like this video please please hit the like button below um, this video was sponsored by TrueDFS. Um, come check, go check out their channel and everything. Um, they make content about other sports as well. But yeah, holla at me at DFS Chen. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye bye.